In today's chess video, I am going to show you the 8 best opening strategies for black when white begins with the move pawn to d4. We first need to understand what is white's main idea when he begins with the queen's pawn opening that is pawn to d4. We all know that he wants to gain as much control of the center as possible. So his main moves are going to be c4, then knight to c3 and finally pawn to e4. Please pay special attention to the move order. By playing pawn to c4 first, white not only attacks the center, but he also frees up this diagonal for his queen. Then once this pawn has moved ahead, knight to c3 defends this important e4 square. And finally, once this square is well defended, he will go for pawn to e4. Look, white already has a slight advantage by playing first. And if he is able to achieve all this, then as black, it will become very difficult for us to win this game. Therefore, it's very important that we play a very strong opening in order to prevent white from gaining this huge early advantage. In the next few minutes, I will show you 8 solid opening systems that you can play as black to reach a really good middle game and ultimately increase your chances of winning. I have evaluated all these openings from the chess database and on the basis of my analysis, I will show you the winning percentages of black for each of these openings so you have a better idea. Let's begin. So after d4, the most popular and preferred move is to play knight to f6. Some of you might say that d5 is also good, but in most of these opening systems, I would recommend knight to f6 first because I feel it's better to wait and see what white does before committing this pawn fully forward. Anyway, I still have a few good openings with the move d5, so keep watching this video till the end. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, white will first push this pawn to c4. After this, we will play pawn to e6 preparing for the d5 move and at the same time opening up this diagonal for our bishop. Now if white plays knight to c3, then we can simply pin this knight by playing bishop to b4. This is one of my favorite openings which is called the Nimzo Indian defense. If you look at the win percentages, you will find that this is quite a good opening for black. By playing bishop to b4, we indirectly control the e4 square since this knight cannot move because it is pinned to the king. Ultimately, white will have to think of something different instead of the regular e4 move. You will see moves like queen to c2, e3 and then bishop to d3, knight to f3 and very soon pawn to a3 will be coming. Remember, in the Nimzo Indian, whenever you see the a3 move, you should most often take this knight because it defends this important e4 square. As black, the good thing is that we have all our options open. We can go for something like c5 and d5 to break the center. We can castle king side. Another strategy could be to go for b6 and play this bishop on this long open diagonal. Therefore, even though we have compromised on the bishop pair, we still have a lot of flexibility in deciding what we want to do. Going back, because of the strong Nimzo Indian, many top level players in this position have started to go for knight f3 instead of the knight c3 move. That's why it is also sometimes called the anti-Nimzo Indian defense. White's idea is to wait and watch. He wants to know how black plans to develop his pieces so that he can act accordingly. That's what gives rise to another solid opening called the Queen's Indian defense. The main move for black in the Queen's Indian is pawn to b6. This is very effective because we can play bishop to b6 and attack along this long open diagonal and put pressure on the center. Another strategy could be to bring our bishop to a6 and put pressure on this c4 pawn. Then you can check with your other bishop and put additional pressure on these queen side pieces. All in all, the queen's Indian is black's main weapon against white's approach to avoid the nimzo. Okay, now in this position you have one more option. Instead of going for the queen's Indian, you can play bishop to b4 and go for the bogo Indian defense. Let's look at some of its variations. Since it is a check, white will have to do something. If he blocks with the knight, then you can use these ideas which are similar to the Nimzo Indian defense. If he blocks with the bishop, then you can defend your bishop by either bringing out the queen to e7 or defending with this pawn on a5. Then again, you can proceed with some of these ideas that we discussed earlier. Okay, now let's go back and look at some more strong openings. But wait, are you enjoying this video? If yes, then hit that thumbs up button right now. It really motivates me and helps me in planning the future content on this channel. Okay, now after knight f6 and c4, we can also go for g6, then knight c3 and then bishop g7. After e4, white takes the center and finally we play pawn to d6. This is the king's Indian defense. 
Contrary to what I mentioned at the start, this is an opening where we allow white to take center control. Because of this reason, many black players in the past refrained from playing this opening. But nowadays, this opening is played quite commonly at various levels. Here's what the win percentages look like. If you evaluate this position, even though white has space in the center, black has the lead in development. As black, your strategy would be to castle on the king side and then go for pawn advances like e5 or c5. Slowly and gradually, you will look to break the center and launch a coordinated attack either on the queen side or king side, depending on how white plays. If you're someone who likes to consolidate and slowly build up an attack, then this is the opening for you. Okay, now let's look at our next opening, which begins with d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, and then black plays the move pawn to d5. This is the Grunfeld defense. Here's a snapshot of its win percentages. The main idea of this opening is to give up the center to white's pawns and then attack it later with our minor pieces. Our main point of attack is going to be this d4 square. We will attack with this bishop, the queen, this pawn and this knight. We will go all out to break this center. This can lead to some very sharp lines, so it's definitely worth trying out if you're an attacking player. Okay, now let's go back and look at another popular opening. d4, knight f6, c4 and then we play pawn to c5. If white captures, then he loses center control and also he will find it hard to hold on to this pawn. So most times you will see the move pawn to d5, which is called the Benoni defense. From here, you can go for e6, attacking this d pawn. If he takes this pawn, you can simply take back. If he moves forward, you can bring your queen to b6 and ultimately take this pawn. So the most common reply you will see is knight to c3, adding a defender to d5. You can then take, white takes back, and then your strategy should be to somehow get rid of this d5 pawn. You can attack with your bishop along this long open diagonal, then castle on the king side, and then use this rook to attack along this semi-open file. If you are an aggressive player and you like to take risks, then this is an opening for you. Okay, now let's look at some solid openings with the classical move pawn to d5. But before moving on, a quick reminder. If you want more chess content like chess puzzles, facts, quotes, etc., you can follow me on Instagram at Chess Talk Official. Okay, so let's look at our next opening which starts with the move d4, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, and now we decline the gambit by playing e6. It's popularly known as the queen's gambit declined line or the QGD opening. If white tries to take, then you can take back with this pawn and control these central squares. And if white does not take, our main idea is going to be to develop our pieces towards the center and stop white from gaining momentum. To utilize this bishop, we might have to play b6, c5 and then bring out this bishop on this diagonal. If you're a classical player and like to go by the fundamental principles of chess, then this is the opening for you. Now let's move on to our next opening which starts with d4, d5, c4 and now instead of defending with e6, we can go for c6, the Slav defense. Then knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, and pawn to e6. This is a common opening position which is referred to as the semi-slav defense. There could be different move orders that get you to this position, but this is going to be like your starting point. As black, most of your immediate action is going to happen on the queen side. You can develop this knight to d7, push these b and c pawns forward and attack these center pawns, then look to get this bishop out from here, and then bring your queen along this diagonal. All in all, this is a strong way to play as black against d4. So which of these is your favorite openings? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so it's puzzle time. In this position, it's your turn and you need to find the best move continuation for white. If you're able to find the solution to this puzzle, then share it in the comments below. I'm reading all your comments and will give them a heart if your explanation is correct. All the best guys, let's see how many of you can solve this. Well, don't forget to like this video and if you haven't yet subscribed, then subscribe now. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video.